understandable that you know people like us we're talking and overanalyzing it because I don't think we're overanalyzing it. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible not to. It, it, it really is because yeah. again, Breeze Breeze talked about coming close to retiring at the end of the season and. That would put him right in the spot. Like, this is the guy. Three years developing. You've heard so much about him. Mm -hmm. I still think he has traits. There was just something. There's something about, I don't know, like the things that he didn't do well in the first game, like we kind of marginalized because the things he did well and then the things he did well didn't show up in the same way. You know, and then game, the things yeah. that we were marginalizing seem to be amplified. Mm -hmm. And That's a good point. We'll see how it goes from here. I mean, he, he just needs to take that step forward. You know, I also think that there's probably an incredible amount of pressure on this player from himself. Like, if I was him, I'm 30 years old. I got paid all this money. I'm the most hated player in the NFL on, on Twitter for some absurd reason. Because That's look, so crazy, man. I, I hate it, that. I hate that. Yeah, yeah, and I shouldn't even say this, but he's like the nicest person in the world. It's just like, <laughs> this guy's just here, like, doing his job. They paid him a lot of money. That's not his fault. Like he got paid the amount of money that they thought he was worth. Like he didn't, he didn't hold anybody up. He didn't say pay me. So you can't pay whoever right, like, right, he just exactly. got paid a lot of money because they, they thought he was good. He, he did his job. They, they thought he was good. He got paid it. And now he's just here doing his job. And like, people don't want him to succeed. I don't know. I just think in the situation he's in, it's, it's tough. And it's a little bit, bit, look, Teddy was in a similar situation too, but you know, I think it's a little bit different because he had already proven himself. People believed in him yeah. and he just needed to show a little bit. And he, I think he had probably done enough in the preseasons to get a shot, even if he never got one with the mm -hmm. Saints. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think Taysom's yeah. kind of like feeling like this is it. If Drew retires and they go somewhere else next year, do I ever get a chance to be a starting quarterback yeah. again? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, you'll be in camp, but like, this is your, you know, just, you yeah. can't replace this game time. And, Again, I go back to the fact that Jameis Winston is right there on the sidelines. And I think it's exacerbated by the fact that, you know, Brady's not looking <laughs> great in Arians' offense <laughs> right now, um, which is crazy. Brady would have been the Saints quarterback if Drew, I guess, because Glazer had the report that, you know, they were looking at Brady and Brady was waiting for the Saints to see what happened with Drew, which – I don't know, I'm glad that didn't work. I'm glad that didn't happen. I guess today we'll see what happens for the rest of the season. But you know, the fact that Winston is there is just something that makes it, you know, it just adds another element to it. Like, I want to see Winston. <laughs> I'll be real with you. Like, he's a first round pick. He's the he's the most talented thrower on the team of the football as it pertains to arm strength. Now, I think talented thrower means anticipation, accuracy, a lot more other things, but he has this crazy arm. He has crazy talent and you got a coach that can make pretty much anybody look, I don't say anybody. That's, that's, that's not right. But you got a coach who can probably help him out in a lot of the areas where he has some weaknesses. Right. And you, so you got a coach who can win with anybody. I don't know. It's starting to feel that way. <laughs> um, I, I, I wouldn't go that far. I think Mitch Trubisky and guys like that, you know, I, I, I just think that you have a coach that if you have a skill set, he's going to put it on display and get the most, get more out of you than maybe some other coaches will. And you have a team that's loaded, right? So I think it's a combination of things why he's, guys, Teddy went 5-0 and last year. Now he's 7-0 and in the last few years with backup quarterbacks. I think there's a reason because he just knows what he's doing. I think he's the because he can win with anybody. With this team, with this roster, look. I mean, look. Obviously, you wouldn't I get what you're going. I get where you're going. I get where you're going. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think he'd put himself in a position to have to win a game with Mitch Trubisky, but like he can probably win a game with a McCown in this system. Like any quarterback that kind of fits what he's doing, I think that he can figure out a way to win a game with this roster. I don't think that you can give him a, a bad roster and bad players you, you can win with anybody. There but with go. this roster, with with a good quarterback, mm -hmm. uh, to an average quarterback even, I think they can figure out ways to win games. And I, Yeah. He coaches I his like, whole team, too. He's not one of those guys that just doesn't pay attention on defense. He's going to DA like, all right, here's the game plan. Here's how we switch things up. Special teams coach, here's what we're going to do because of the quarterback situation. So I think you're right. It's It's – he can he can get his team in a position to win in a way that a lot of other coaches can't. I mean, look, what's their record right now? And they've been without their All Pro left tackle, their Pro Bowl left guard, the offensive all player pro of the wide year. receiver, <laughs> yeah, the, the quarterback, uh, Marshawn Lattimore missed time. Like yeah. 
At, at what point, like somebody needs to start the campaign and it might as well be us like that. Sean should probably be the coach of the year if he keeps this up. Like, and I don't even know how much further he has to go to earn that. Like, I, I think that yeah. I don't know, like, who else are you including in that conversation? Whoever's the new coach or whatever that everybody's into, like, that's always the person who ends up winning it. Yeah, I don't I, I don't think anybody else is, is coaching better than than Sean right now. And that's just the honest to God's truth. Like they're winning games without everybody. And it doesn't matter. Like it just it just doesn't matter. There's who's not hurt. another coach in the yeah. NFL. You trade for Sean Payton. Like I, I know I just don't you know, I don't I don't see it because I think he you can see the evolution of his career as a coach just over the years and. It's like these small details that people don't think about, like they don't get missed. 